Welcome to this Let's Talk Machines Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're exploring the available algorithms and pointwise for creating unstructured domains and how to apply these algorithms to new and existing surface grid entities. Pointwise includes three algorithms for producing surface grids, Delaunay, Advancing Front, and new in Pointwise version 18, the Advancing Front Ortho algorithm. For each of these algorithms, you can choose to use only triangular cells or a mix of triangles and quads. A table highlighting the distinct characteristics of each of the six options is shown. When compared to Delaunay, the Advancing Front algorithm will produce triangular surface grids of similar quality but more uniform appearance. In the particular case of domains containing only triangular cells, choosing between these two algorithms is more a matter of preference. While Delaunay and Advancing Front algorithms tend to populate surface grids with equilateral triangles, the Advancing Front Ortho algorithm tends to populate them with right-angled triangles. By default, the Delaunay-based method is used to insert points into a triangular surface grid when a domain is initialized. You can change this default behavior by navigating to the Defaults panel, expanding the Unstructured Domains and Blocks frame, and then expanding the isotropic options within this frame. Here you can select your preferred algorithm from the available pull-down menu and choose to insert either triangles or both triangles and quads using the corresponding radio button. When using the triangles and quads option, there are additional entry fields to control the cell quality criteria for quads that users can apply. If a quad with attributes above the threshold value specified would be created, then these values will force the selected algorithm to use triangles instead. These settings will apply to all newly created domain entities. If you have an existing domain, then you can change the algorithm used by selecting it in either the List panel or Display window and navigating to the Solve panel from the Grid menu. Within the Solve panel, the Unstructured Domain algorithm can be selected from the Attributes tab. Again, users can choose their preferred algorithm type using the pull-down menu and select the type of cells to use from the Cell Types radio button options. Once updated, then click the Initialize button over on the Solve tab and then click OK to save these changes and exit the Solve panel. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.